Okay, finally, the last part of this section. Determining if data is actually from a function. Just because we have a bunch of points doesn't mean we're actually looking at a function. There are several different ways of looking at data to decide if it's a function. Um, the, the best way, I think, is graphically, and I'm going to read what it says in the little box. A table of data represents a function if and only if it passes the vertical line test. So what I usually like to do is just plot all the points and see if it passes the vertical line test. We discussed earlier how to plot some points. And so what I did is I went over to Desmos and I plugged in the points. You can see uh, I've at least entered them. I can't see any plot yet. But meanwhile, I have to decide what they're going to ask for. It says, is t a function of a? That is, if I use t for the y values and a for the x values, does it pass the vertical line test? Well, let's go over to Desmos. Let's plot the points. I've entered the points. Remember to plot them the best way. You go over to this little magnifying glass way over here until it says zoom fit. You click on that and you see all the points plotted. And sure enough, there is never one point just lying directly above another. So absolutely, uh, in this case, the y values are a function of the x values. And what does that mean again? That means is t a function of a? Absolutely. When I use t as the y values, and A is the X values to pass the vertical line test. So the answer for A is yes. Is A a function of T? Huh. Well, now I have to reverse them. There's not a nice way if you don't have um, um, a formula for reversing these. But we can do this without having to kill ourselves too much. I'm just going to add another table. And over here, I want all the Y values from the original. So that's going to be 130, and then 115. And then 110, then 90, 89, 89, 95, 100, 110, 125. I'm going to go back up here. If I enter them all right, this should be 0, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yay, they're all there. Now, let's shut off the graphing from the first one. Uh, I want to graph the second set of points. I have them all entered. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to click over on this little magnifying glass over here where it says zoom fit. I click like that. Is this a function? Um, well, I'm going to say two things about that. Number one, no. <laughs> right? This point right here is directly above this point right here. So this is definitely not a function. Now, um, in terms of the paint drying and the chemical, um, even if this point had not been directly above this point, we can see that this graph should have come all the way down here like this, come back over here like this. And in reality, I think it would have failed the vertical line test um, quite a large number of times. Um, but meanwhile, um, uh, it is absolutely not a function because I cannot plug in this one, the 110, and get actually one answer. It's forcing two on me, which means it's not a function. And that's as hard as it is to see if uh, a set of data of two coordinates is a function or not.